Okay, we're back on the golf cart here. And it looks like there's a bolt here and a bolt here that holds the outside of this covering off. So I'm going to remove them first. Okay, I lied. As you can see, there's three bolts holding this on. No air cleaner. So we can chuck that off to the side for now. And I don't know if you can see in there or not. But there's a couple bolts there that's got to come out. So I was going to take those two bolts out, but you see they got that little goofy clip bent over there. So instead of fighting it down in that corner, I think I'll just take the fuel lines and this vent line and everything off of here. And you got this rod up here for the governor. I'll just take this carburetor off. There's a bolt here and a bolt there. If I can get it off and do that, not bent down in this place, it'd be much better. If I had any brains, I would take those two screws and the two over there and get this seat out of my way. But let's fight it for a little longer. Okay, I did notice one thing though. There's this goofy bracket on the bottom with one bolt here in the front. I will have to take that out to take this whole piece off. I say I am no golf cart mechanic. This would be my first time doing a carb on one of these, but it's got to be like any other carb, so let's get on with it. Okay, so I got that carburetor off of there. Right here it is. I want to take this cover off. Looks like two bolts there with them little retainers. And then we can pull this thing apart and see what we got. Alright, I already know I got to do something about the mounting gasket because you can see a piece missing right here. But that's easy. I can just cut a gasket if I have to. On them clips there, you can see I just kind of bent them back. And it's 10 millimeter. Seems to be a lot of 10 millimeter on this thing. We can pull these right off of here. Let's see what we got. Looks like there's just the two bolts. That little retaining clip. And then there's some kind of a washer here. And that hole lines up. That hole. Okay, let's just see what's in here. really good in there okay so it looks like we definitely got to get her cleaned up um, I'll have to get something and get this pin out of there and I can see that well, the needle valve is moving I don't know if you guys can see that or not If you look right back in there, you'll see that little pin sticking up out of that nut looking thing. That's the needle valve. And when you turn it over, it does move. So that's a plus. But like I say, this carburetor is nasty looking. So it's going to have to do some soaking. Now there's a pin right here on the side. When I push that pin out, I'll be able to get this float right out of there. Okay, also, I don't know if you can see this or not, but also take note that when this thing's upside down, that float is just about level. Most of them are, but you just want to kind of get a reference of where it's at. Okay, I got that pin coming out of there. And then this float will just pick right up off of there. Okay. It doesn't feel bad, but... It's not brass either, it's just some of a plastic float. So, your needle valve is right here. Now I was kind of suspecting the needle valve might have been sticking or something, which I'm still not sure of. Um, you can see the hole right there in the side of this. You can see through there. Now we know that's open that far, but I will screw this out of here. Um, I'll take that little jet out of there. And anything else that I can remove. Now on this screw here, this is a little needle jet screw. I'll turn this in until it just touches. You don't want to go past that because this is really soft metal and you'll distort it if you try to um, turn that in farther. So just go till it stops and count the turns. That way when I put this back in, I'll have a, an idea about where it was at. 
and that was one and three quarter turns so I can safely remove this now I have an idea where to reinstall that see you just got a little needle okay so now we'll take this off crescent wrench might not be the best tool for all this but everything is coming out nice and easy and another jet right there that could be I can't really see through it but I have to take that out there too now I'm going to take this carburetor and make sure there's nothing left in it I'll take this needle seat out now here's the um, needle valve seat taken out and I'll see how it's got that little gasket remember where those go and try not to disturb them because you'll need them unless you get a kit for this carburetor so just try to be gentle with any of your gaskets like that and I usually do not put the gaskets in the carburetor cleaner okay I took this emulsion tube up out of the middle of this um, carburetor here and when you look down in there it's, it's down in there it looks like a jet on the end but now if you're doing anything with a jet let me see if I can there's a little screwdriver slot right here you want to get a screwdriver that's as close to the width of the jet as you can that will fit down in the hole and a good flat tip and make sure you get in there bottomed out so you when you turn you're not slipping over the edge here and rounding the sides on these jets because they're made of really soft material so try to use a good screwdriver the closest to the width of the jet as you can that will fit down in that slot nice okay now there's two screws that throttle plates held on with a lot of people will take them out I usually don't unless I need to or I need to get the shaft out because those screws I don't know if you can see they barely stick through there and a lot of times they'll peen them over a little bit so if you don't knock the peening off a lot of times you'll break those off and if you don't get them in there and lock tight them or peen them and make sure they don't come out because if they come out they go through the motor so I usually the butterfly ones if I can help it I usually just leave them there like I say unless there's a reason I gotta take the shaft out then I will but I try not to now there is a gasket down in this groove here to make this bowl seal in there so um, what I did is I just kinda went in beside it with this razor knife and just kept working it around until I got a piece loose and I got it coming up and then I'm going to try to take this out of there carefully I've found that if you can get these out and not let them soak in the carburetor cleaner you're a lot better off so I got that out without really harming it you want to be careful not to cut it or pinch it because that's what seals your bowl alright I got this guy on a carburetor cleaner here and it's got this nifty little bucket in here so we're just on a put everything in here and let her soak and then we'll see what we get now I'll leave this set for several hours and then we'll come back to it the needle valve is a metal needle valve and a lot of times when they got a metal needle valve you'll see a, a uh, some kind of like a neoprene seat up in the, where the needle valve goes up in the seat but I'm not seeing it, it looks like metal on this one so we're just going to go ahead and throw it in if it's got neoprene seat in there where the needle valve hits then you don't want to soak these <laughs> 